Sup to my ducks, what's good to my DGENs? I think that's it, that's it. I think we're gonna do sup to my ducks and what's good to my DGENs. Just thought of that one on spot. Shout out Bob Lazar and Strange Love as well for the art, for the, for the backdrop. Whoa, I still gotta fix this, all this. But yeah, real quick, today, Shopify changes their, um, their profile pic on Twitter to a doodle. We got Yuga Labs buys CryptoPunks and MeBits. That's absurd. Craziest news in the NFT space in a, in a little bit. And then just three calls I made last week in my NFT group. You could join in the in the description. Called out Aqua Tools. This is a this is like a um, an extension and alpha group. This was you could have minted this for 0 0.08. Floor is 0.24. So a quick little 3x. Love to see it. Uh, Loser Club official called this one out at 0.15. Um, this has been popping for a couple weeks now. Looking like a 0.37 floor. 56% owner ratio. That's uh, you love to see that. Um, this is the guy that made Fishy Fam, and then the guys who made it rugged him and like paid him like five thousand dollars for all the artwork or some shit. This guy from Fishy Fam, he's a legit artist. Jo uh, Jovan, J Von, J Von, cool dude. Um, and Villagers of Exolo. This is J R N Y Cryptos. Uh, f I think it's his first. Um, well, it's his second NFT drop. This is like his first PFP collection after he dropped that pass. He dropped a the JRNY crypto pass. Um, I forget what mint was, but the floor on it is like two or three ETH. Um, I called these at a point one two five point one three floor. Um, it just looked like a no brainer based off his prior. NFT collection is with two ETH floor. People were saying that he said that he ran out of money and he had to make this collection, but I think he was just doing that to generate hype. The guy didn't spend, I don't think he spent $40 million from the first uh, NFT drop, but who knows? Everyone's had a hick happen. At first, there was like 2,000 in these listed. Now they're down to 500. I think, I think this is one of the NFTs that could pump after reveal. Um, I think it'll dip a little bit, <laughs> well, obviously, but I think this is uh, actually going to pump a little bit for, uh, for post review. Um, who knows again, though, no, but Villagers of Exolo, Loser Club, and Aqua Tools all called in my Discord. If you were in there, you'd love to see that. This is the biggest news, uh, in crypto, I mean, in NFTs in the last couple months. Um, this is just, this is kind of like Disney buying like, uh, Marvel, like, uh, and DC Comics. Like, they, they were just buying their competition. Like, the, the one and two spots for number one and two PFPs, I feel like, were Bored Apes and CryptoPunks. And I feel like this is bullish for the space because if, if, um, if Yuga Labs does what they're supposed to do with CryptoPunks and MeBits, like, what they're doing with, like, the Bored Ape Yacht Club, um, deal um i think it'll be a good thing for the space in general and just get more people into nfts because what it sounds like the og crypto punk founders weren't doing shit like they literally weren't doing anything it was just two guys i'm pretty sure and they sold it for i i heard a couple numbers i heard 200 million i heard 1 billion whatever they ran off with the bag um this is this is just going to be a forever um, these are going to be forever NFTs, CryptoPunks, and Board API Clubs, in my opinion. Um, and then this. This is sick. Shopify's new profile pick is a doodle. <laughs> Freaking so cool. <laughs> Shout out to doodles. Um, doodles are dope. Uh, I don't know if this was the doodles reaching out to them or Shopify reaching out to the doodles. Either way, this is a good look for NFTs in general. Um... Yeah, but other than that, we got we got nothing other than that. It was a quick one. Happy Monday. Hope everyone has a great day. You do you. Stay blessed, stay humble, and peace out.